MAGA world, there was and is one word above all that was and is the core message to his core followers, the word that forms their identity. That word is winning. It will change. We will have so much winning if I get elected that you may get bored with winning. To call winning into question created a level of cognitive dissonance that was intolerable. It needed to be resolved. The president provided his followers and himself a solution to this problem. He asserted that the election was not lost, it was stolen. It's still your president. It's legal for them to count votes in Pennsylvania two days after the election on November 3rd? Yes. You're wrong. Go. I don't even want to talk to you. Most importantly, the theory of cognitive dissonance explains how you and I, everyone who is human, every day in matters small and large, bend our views of reality to line up with our most cherished beliefs. So, it is not difficult to see how the impaired accuracy of our love-struck pattern recognition capabilities lead to poor outcomes, outcomes we would have ordinarily avoided if we had not been in love. Let's build a fire and let it get hot. Let's go down in the flames of love. It isn't just Trump true believers or Netanyahu, or Putin true believers, or the followers of any number of cult-like autocratic leaders from around the world. We all share the same DNA, and all of us, at one time or another, are believers. And believers embrace non-objective realities. That's just how we are wired.